How's it guys and uh, welcome to day Z. This um, video is just basically showing you my new base. I've just uh, finished it. And uh, yeah, it is the biggest base I've built so far. So you guys can leave a comment. Obviously, maybe you might have seen a bigger base. But um, this is the biggest base I've built. But you can leave a comment, or tell me what you think about the base, whatever, I'd appreciate it. If you are new to the channel, please uh, subscribe. Please like the video as well, it will help the channel out. In any case, got that out the way. Let me uh, give you a tour. This is now the, the front side of the base. By the way, this, uh, this base is on Livonia. This is a Livonia server. See, this is the front side. Um, from this side here, all the way to the other side, the base measures about 95 meters across, and then from the front here to the back, it measures 80, 87 meters across. So it's uh, quite big. You can see here. We have to make this um, section here in the front double high so that we can get a truck in and out here. Inside, obviously it's normally always locked. I'll just open up for you guys to show you show you around. These are all watchtowers. So in total, I've got 44 watchtowers all around the the base. Chuck Humby, uh, all go there. So this uh, this front piece here is very really useful storing all our things for when we come back from a Lutran, and then we. Uh, pack it away afterwards into the different sections just this one here is where we keep all the meat for the fireplace to cook and this little canopy tent here there's just a whole lot of explosives here let me put this grenade in here that's full see all the grenades and uh, landmines and stuff like that goes in there and the other tents have just got basic things inside of it they just left to pack away let me show you around the other side this was a lot of work guys to be honest I, I, I did most of the work myself and Darth helped me a little bit with those uh, double walls that side there of the base we just came from but yeah, I did most of the work myself. It took me about a month and a half. I do work. I've got a job, so it wasn't obviously full time a month and a half. But um, yeah, quite a lot of hours. In any case, uh, you can see I've made a bunch of improvised shelters here. Inside this section here, all of these here, just medical. So you've got a small medical section here, just as you're coming by the gate. In case you need to restock on any of your stuff. So I'm just outside the gate again. And these ones here, this section here, is basically where we keep all the clothes. So we've got the, you can see as you can see here, uh, the clothes for our faction. Uh, probably gloves inside there. And uh, armbands in here. In here it's just a bunch of boots and some ghillies. I had to put up extra watch tile, extra um, flag poles and stuff because they were too far away from the main flag pole, which is up there in, be in between those trees up there. These ones are just full of EVGs. These improvised shelters. That one's empty. This one's got water bottles, canteens, just range finders in there. A lot of looting as well to get to the point where the base is now. Um, this is all just NBC stuff in here. 
this tent uh, just a bunch of plate carriers. Yeah, a couple of plate carriers inside there. I mean, I've still got uh, more space I can loot more and whatever, but um, as it stands, this is how the base looks. We might add some more storage later on or something like that. But um, for now, I might add more improvised shelters. I don't think I'll buy more tents, it's just because uh, in this survey you have to buy the tents if you want tents. So for now, as it stands, it's okay. Okay, yeah, we have those two barrels. We've got the just some ammo bags inside there. Someone's taking more bags. I think here we've got all repair kits. Electrical repair kits to fix the, the scopes. Some duct tape, some sewing kits. That's just for your clothes. And then this side. Some epoxy putty to fix your plate carriers. And a whole bunch of batteries. Uh, in this section here, we've just got all the tools. So if you check the whole bunch of saws. Some pickaxes there. You get sledgehammers. Yeah. Yes, all the other basic building stuff that you might need. So these are all the leftovers, basically. The last log it left. And if anyone is on the server that still needs building supplies, they can just send me a, a message. Then I can probably help you guys out. Let's go to the next section. This section is uh, like the community section for guns. So if, you, if we pick up guns that we are not using ourselves, then we drop them off here. You can see here we've got some AKs, uh, there's a Mosin, there's another Mosin, three Mosins, an M4 there, there's a LAR. So basically all the guns that we don't use uh, we've put in this section here, in this one's handguns, yeah, all the handguns there. There's a whole bunch of knives. More guns in this tent. A URX, uh, more enforced DMRs there. It's not rubbish guns, they're quite good guns. Just some of us don't use those guns, so it's just empty, yeah? Uh, one gun inside there. This tent here has got all the gas bottles and stuff in, yeah. Try to keep everything neat and tidy so that we know where to find the stuff, especially with a base this size. It's not always easy to keep track of stuff, so try to keep in order. Three fridges there full of cold drinks. Someone is taking cold drinks again. Um, what's inside this tent? Just a bunch of bullets and stuff. Uh, this is my tent of the guns that I sell. So got all the guns that I want to sell inside here. So there's the VSD, Lamar's, uh, just the guns like I, that I collect that I want. Here's the guns that I keep that I will use. Get to, oh, and all my punch cards. There's seven punch cards. Not bad. There's another. I've got a couple of M4s in here. Um, VSD, there's M79. It's just stuff that I'll be using. That side is DAS tents. Those two there, with these ammo barrels. Um, yeah, I won't show you inside there because it looks like um, vomit in a tumble dryer. If you know what I mean. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't keep anything sorted out. Everything's mixed up. Yeah, but that's just the way he's a, he's a cool dude with. Yeah. One of those things. This was actually another person's section here. Actually, two people were sharing this. It's 
course I don't really want to show you inside the tents but, um, as you can see you also got a mixed bag of things everything's just mixed up there Yeah, so we've invited people to our group, um, kind of ran a bit of a community here, but obviously people come and go, so these people that were here have left actually, so. As you can see there, a whole bunch of different stuff. Let's actually go through this and clean it out for the next bunch of people. A bison. This is another person's section here that also has left the group. So at the moment it's only me and Darth and there's a new Russian guy, I forget his name. Um, I haven't met him yet but uh, Darth knows him obviously and Darth invited him to the group. He's using this section at the moment. Um, so it's still got some other people's things in it. As you can see here, guns and stuff. And for me, I... I sell all the guns that I don't want, I don't just keep them like that, so keeps the rubbish in the base down to a minimum. There's some MBC stuff and whatever. I actually forgot to sell it. There's one more place I'm going to show you. As you can see, all mixed stuff. Okay, so that's all around the outside. I forgot to show you guys another piece inside there. So let me show you the inside the base. Inside the barn, sorry, not the base. Um, so inside there. This year, <laughs> some some improvised shelters, but just just a few. There's some stuff inside there to make some more, but then from this point onwards, all the way to the top, it's just full of food. So basically, the whole inside is uh, our food section. You guys can see there, cold drinks. I think it's only these two on the end, uh, metal wire there, rope, and I think this one's lock, code locks, yeah, all code locks there. So the base is uh, stacked, obviously we still got space for more things, so I'll obviously be carrying on until the wiper, I'm not sure when the wiper will be on this uh, server. If there's going to be a wiper, the new update, I'm not sure, I don't think so, but um, we haven't been told anything. But we'll uh, keep an eye on that one. Let me just go show you guys on top of the roof here. It's got a generator there with uh, two lights. Kind of the lights are actually quite nice. They light up the, that whole area there and that whole area there. Actually from the top you can see how nice and big this base is actually. There's a lot of boxes of nails that went into this and a lot of planks, a lot of logs. I made those, um, those are double walled, those ones at the back there. But now you see the gap there, I've made that open so that you can see through and snipe through that. Um, this is a PVE server so no PvP, but you can snipe, uh, sometimes we get a helicopter crash or something there, so we snipe the zombies from here, or cows or whatever we want to. And if the day, because they do have events on the server, if they say there's going to be base raiding, then uh, it also gives us opportunity to protect the base a little bit through those peaks. The weather is changing again. Yeah guys, it's not, not bad, it's like I said, it took me quite a few hours to do this. Um, other guys have got things to do, I understand that. It's 
to... So yeah, it's understandable if they couldn't help but to make me help me build, but um, it's cool. Like I said, it was fun building it, I must say. But uh, yeah, if you guys have got any links to bigger bases or guys that build bigger bases than this, obviously I think this is not, obviously I know this is not the biggest base in Daisy. But um, this is a community server as well, obviously because I said it's PVE. So you can't dupe on the servers, so you can see everything here had to be worked for. So you can imagine it took quite a while. And I want to just uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, thank you for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. If you are new, once again, please subscribe to the channel. Please hit that like button and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.